Namaskar everyone. I am Dr. Nikita Bhotra. I practice in Thane. I am a diabetologist. But today I want to talk to you as a diabetic friend and not as a diabetic doctor. I want to wish you all a very happy and healthy year ahead. A year full of well controlled sugars and no complications coming your way. A year full of sweet memories and less sugar and less maida in your food. A year with lots of protein intake and a healthy lifestyle. A year with very good sleep, very good physical activity, yoga, exercise and meditation all throughout. Hope this wish comes true for you and everyone as well as me. Now after the wish of course I want you to all know what what are we heading to by 2030 india is going to be the capital of diabetes of the world indians as genetically we are very prone for diabetes our lifestyle is changing fast with the cities coming up with smaller families busier parents children who are playing less and spending a lot of time on mobile phones and laptops in their books and on computers, we are having a lot sedentary life. With this sedentary life, we are getting prone to diabetes. Also, diabetes is an iceberg phenomenon. That means what we are seeing is just the tip of the iceberg. Below is a very big mountain of diabetes and diabetes-like problems. Why are we getting towards it? We all know. But how do we prevent it and how do we manage it and how do we not let our next generation have diabetes and diabetes complications? It's not that bad. It's not that difficult. If we really wish and if we have the right knowledge, we can change the course and we can show the world that India can even be a very good health example. The way we have vaccinated our country, we have proven that health-wise we are very nice. Let us discuss about the signs and symptoms of diabetes. We will divide them into two groups. One, patients who have developed diabetes and patients who are at risk of developing diabetes. This classification helps you understand them easily. Patients who have developed diabetes or have been having diabetes for a long time, they will have increased urination and increased thirst. They will feel a lot of malaise, that is, they get tired easily with small work. They might develop rashes over the skin and itching over the skin. They might develop tingling and numbness over the tips of their hand and feet. These are the symptoms commonly seen in patients having diabetes. The other group that is patients who are at risk of having diabetes. Why is it very important to know the signs and symptoms in this group is because we can prevent them from becoming diabetic which is our ultimate goal to prevent let it not happen. Most young patients who are in borderline diabetic or are in the verge of getting diabetes, they will have this blackish coloration in their neck. The neck skin, that is the nape of the neck, it will be dark, it will be thick and it will have blackish discoloration. Also, they might see blackish discoloration on the knuckles as well as the ankle. This is called acanthosis nigricans. This is very commonly seen nowadays in young boys and girls as well as in early 20s and 30s. This is a sign that shows that you are having insulin resistance. If these patients are not, if the lifestyle of these patients is not changed, they might develop diabetes in the coming years. Why is diabetics such a big deal? Because usually diabetes doesn't come alone. It comes with its siblings and its siblings are hypertension, cholesterol problem, uric acid problem, snoring at night, weight gain, they all come together and 
together it is called as metabolic syndrome we have to prevent our young generation from going into this so after listening to this why is it happening why is it that type 2 diabetes is increasing in india so much the logical reason behind this is with civilization and with urbanization we have started having small houses small families a lot of time that is spent in the house on the television or the mobiles or the laptops our physical activity and playing in the open area has reduced for n number of reason it may be security or it may be because the child is alone and that's why it's safer to keep the child in the house than outside or the parents are too busy to take the children out and the grandparents are not staying together or just that the child has become lazy and now doesn't is more interested in the mobile phone and the laptop or he has a lot to do in the school and homework also the rat race and the thing to excel in studies and at work leads leaves us with very less time for physical activity so how do we change this and is it all very gloomy no not really i can see the positiveness in the next generation i see a lot many parents bringing their children early on and asking us how do we make a change how do we make a difference and let not diabetes come over this is a very welcome thought as well as action by the parents also the kids want to change they understand things because they have the exposure of internet they understand they read about it and they want to act and make a difference in their life so how do we change is the next question it's very simple the problem is easy food and no activity so we do not consume the easy food so what is the easy food that we usually consume the breads bakery items biscuit cookies curry toast the chinese the outside food these foods are very addictive you will see many parents complaining that my child daily wants a chips packet or wants a manchurian let us all come together and help prevention and reversal of diabetes we as a country can make it happen as covid vaccination we have done it we can do it again in the matter of diabetes why do we all have to do it because we can then set example and others will follow us with this we can make it a community thing a community practice to have a healthier life to eat homemade food to eat food with high fiber to eat fresh fruits and not juices to eat lots of vegetables lots of dal lots of spices go low on animal products go low on meat go low on dairy products go low on bakery items have a healthier lifestyle by eating early dinners by not having heavy dinners but having very light and early dinners if the elders do it the children will get inspired the children will also follow and they will imbibe it and make it into their second nature this will prevent diabetes in them till a later age how do we reverse diabetes is it that once if i have a diabetes i will always remain a diabetic with lots of medicines and high sugars no not really reversal of diabetes is very much a norm and is very much happening in india with a lot of patients why is it happening now because of course the patients are very conscious they want reversal they are committed towards it they come to the doctor at initial stages of diabetes and they want to know and they want to gain all the knowledge how to prevent it and reverse it many of our patients have achieved have achieved reversal and they are staying off medications but yes you have to always remember diabetes is there to stay with you 
you can reverse it you can control it with a very good lifestyle and diet but you cannot forget about it the day you forget about it ignore the diet do not check your sugars the sugar is going to bounce back and come back with a lot more complications but you can always keep it under check by regularly checking your sugar level keeping your diet under check is it that a person who is having diabetes can never eat sweets or oh, not at all you can enjoy your sweet but always in moderation and with a balanced approach you must always be conscious that if i have had some sweet thing today i will keep it a point to rest to control my sugar intake and my carbohydrate intake in the rest of the day i will have a very healthy lifestyle for the next few days and check my sugars regularly reversal of diabetes and prevention of diabetes is what we all want to achieve in the years to come and if we all work towards it together we can achieve it with this again with a wishing you a very healthy and happy year ahead a very very happy world diabetes day this is dr nikita bhotra a diabetic friend thank you